Heads up, Arvada, your city council meets tonight. So does the Parker Town Council. Clear Creek Commissioners, you guys meet tomorrow. Littleton, your school board meets on the second and fourth Tuesdays. The detailed doings of every local board don't usually make the statewide nightly news, but there are some talented and dedicated journalists doing that super local coverage. And today, they became the headline. Here's Marshall Zellinger. We cover uh, school boards, we cover city governments, we do the story on your next door neighbor. From Brighton to Highland Ranch, Fort Lupton to Golden. We're at about 330,000 people a month between online and print. Jerry and Ann Healy in Colorado Community Media have had papers delivered to metro area homes and mailboxes for decades. We're so micro local that it's it really makes us different than any any other form of media in the metro area. Where else do you get a front page headline to drop off unwanted items at the Erie landfill or the announcement of the two newest Parker council members? We provide that watchdog service for, for government um, accountability. Well, they did. Jerry and Ann are retiring and just sold their two dozen local publications. Lately, the next part of this story would be to explain what a hedge fund is and why an investment company just bought a bunch of newspapers. You know, we're not uh, uh, out of town owners coming in to, uh, you know, clean shop and, uh, and lay people off. Larry Rickman is not an investor. He and a handful of other journalists left the Denver Post three years ago and started the Colorado Sun. You know, I know there were a lot of people out there who didn't think we would make it one year, much less than three years. Now it's the Colorado Sun and local journalists investing in more local journalism. The Colorado Sun shines even on the cloudiest, rainiest days. We're mission-based, and our mission is keeping local news in local hands. Elizabeth Hansen Shapiro is the CEO of the National Trust for Local News, a nonprofit that helped finance the loan so that the Elbert County News and Clear Creek Current can stay local. More viewers like you, more readers like you, more listeners like you are going to have to step up and really work to support their news organizations in different ways so that we can maintain local ownership and maintain local control. I asked Ann and Jerry Healy, if not for this agreement, would they have sold to an investor? They said no, that they've had other offers previously, but those conversations revolved around balance sheets and bottom lines. And Kyle, don't tell the others, but I asked Jerry and Ann which of the publications was their favorite. Not that you're supposed to pick favorites, but it was the Littleton Independent because that was the first paper they bought. <laughs> You know, Marshall, the work that these small papers do is so important because we physically don't have the staff. The big newspapers and TV stations don't have the staff to go to every single little meeting in every single city. And often they may be the only critical ear there listening to hold government accountable. Full disclosure, we'll sometimes know about something because we've seen it in those local publications. And I joke that if you work for one of those places, you should send us an invoice from time to time for the story idea. Well, good to, good to see you there in good hands. Thank you, Marshall.